Chattanooga. Or appreciate the game. Hey, I appreciate that, Lil Mo Films. Shout out to Chattanooga, the Big Ten. Lil Mo Films, you watching the Chitlin' Circuit. Y'all know what it is. Lil Mo Films. What up, world? It's your boy, Lil Mo Films. Hey, we got a special guest in the building today. We talking about a Chat Town sports legend. I'm talking about a Chat Town political figure. You feel me? I'm talking about this man been putting in work, man, since a jit. You see what I'm saying? And now he here today in the chitlin' circuit to let us know what's going on. And we talking about Montreal Besley, man. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you saying my name correctly, man. Folks, I always mess my name up all the hey, time. Hey, I ain't even gonna <laughs> lie. If it wasn't for that dude right there, I wouldn't even did it, cause I sure was finna say Beasley. He was like, get what he said. Make sure you say Besley, man, cause everybody get his name it, wrong. So that's, that's kind of sharing information right man, there. What's man. up with you though, bro? Man, everything, man. Got a lot going on, man. Just just really just enjoying life right now. That's all I'm really doing, man. Loving, loving, loving the space I'm in, man. I'm still being able to to serve, you know what I'm saying, Chattanooga and the people that surround me, man. Still being able to pour back into people, man. Still mm -hmm. being able to connect people. That's my thing. It's just really connecting people. But uh, the biggest thing I got going on right now is uh, my election, mm -hmm. running for Hamilton County Commission District 11. Let's talk about that, man. Hold on, before we get too deep into it, though, <laughs> for the people in the chitlin' circuit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, we gotta we gotta let them know a little bit about your past, bro. Cool, you that's feel? cool, yeah. To yeah. why? It's important for him to come through and show love to the Chitlin Circuit. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, no doubt. No so doubt. tell him about your childhood and just coming up in Chattanooga, man. Yeah. And, you know, as a young nigga and doing yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, man, man grew, man, grew up, born and raised in Austin Park, man. Still still living in Austin Park, man. Loving my community. Uh, appreciate for the amount of time they poured into me and all the people uh, that, that was around me that came in contact with my life, man. Just uh, went to Austin Park Middle School, from Austin Park Middle School, uh, went to Brainerd High School. Uh, graduated from Brainerd, moved on to Austin P. Graduated twice from Austin P. with my bachelor's and my master's. Mm -hmm. uh, then came back home. Mm -hmm. Came back home, man. Started really just pouring into, you know what I'm saying, young people. A mentor of mine, David Davenport, mm -hmm. uh, he actually pushed me uh, uh, to, to get into youth development okay. uh, up at Austin P. Uh, mm -hmm. Because my thing, I went, to, I went to school to try to be the CEO of Blue Cross or Erlang or places mm -hmm. like that. But I learned quickly that, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't for me. Yes. Like sitting behind a desk just wasn't for me. So, mm -hmm. you know, in the summertime, I would come back home, work up at Booker T. Washington State Park with a van. Uh, Gardner, he's another one of my mentors. Okay. Uh, and, okay. He, and he pushed me to get into that realm. But he always, you know what I'm saying, man, he go, you got to go see something else. You got to go see something else. Mm -hmm. But I always told him, man, I just feel like I had a call in here back at home. So I just, I, I never really left back out again. Mm -hmm. uh, but... I uh, grew up in all Park, like I said, man. It was rough, man. Like, you know, man, you know, you already counted out, you know what I'm saying, by your zip code. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you say where you from. Yep. And, you know what I'm saying, people think you're dumb, you don't know nothing, mm -hmm. you, 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 uh, you're not educated, you poor, or whatever. I mean, I was fortunate to grow up with my mom and a good support system. Did I have my daddy there? Yeah, my daddy was around, mm -hmm. uh, but he kind of left He kind of left me to my brothers and my sisters. Okay. And my brother and my sister, I should just say. Uh, so they, you was they, the oldest? No, I'm the youngest. Oh, you're the youngest? I'm the youngest. Okay, yeah, you. my, uh, my right. two brothers and my sister, they pretty much raised me growing up. Of course, my mama was there. Uh, but they, they they kept me in line. And then, of course, I had the Boys and Girls Club growing up. So I just had a lot. That, that's what I created a lot of my success to, a lot of my support group. Uh, the like, part? No, man. Which Boys Club? Oh, part, dude. Oh, part. Get out of here, man. What? I didn't know I don't park out of Boys Club. We in that no, we been having the boys club, bro. Yeah. Not bad, but the, the highlight of the boys and girls club was Camp Kiwana, bro. Camp Kiwana. They used to spend the night. Man, that, was, that yeah. was one time that, you know what I'm saying, I don't care what area you was from, mm -hmm. you can come. Yeah, we still had our fights or whatever. You enjoyed that shit. Yeah. You enjoyed that shit. You yeah. enjoyed whatever activity you had going on yeah. with a dude from a whole other side of the town. At that time, you really didn't have no bloods or crips. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was more what side of town you was on. If you was from... Uh, 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 Island Park, South Side. He from the West Side. He from the mm -hmm. East Side. Boom Height or whatever. That's where I'm from. That's what you know. What I'm saying that, that's what it was about then. Now you know we have you know what they call gangs right now. They finally for the city finally recognized that we had a gang problem. problem. But yeah, I don't think we have a gang problem. I just think we have young people that just looking for something to do other than you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, doing a nine to five. You know what I'm saying. But uh, right. that's, a, that's a whole other topic. But. Like I said, man, I just been enjoying life, bro. Just I enjoying you, bro. life, and then got this, you know, Hamilton County uh, District, District District County Commission race coming up. Mm -hmm. 
Oh uh, man, just learning a lot, man. You know, I ran the school board back in 2016, man, and uh, I had a lot of help with that. Uh, but I didn't have the help that I have now, and that's one thing that I learned, man. You gotta have a, a you gotta have an experienced, organized team. team. Man. You gotta team. have a team, man. You and the team have... I got right now, man, they really making it happen for me. That's what's From up. From fundraising man. to putting me in front of people to you know what I'm saying, whatever. All I gotta do is just show up and be me. That's and that's it. one thing that's I pride it. myself on, yeah. just being myself. Yeah. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna change up for nobody. I'm gonna be myself. That's one of the things uh, that made me. And reach I'm a serve, bro. Man. That's I'm what made serve. me reach out to you, fam. I noticed that. Yeah. So let me ask you this: Like I seen you, you with trajectory and on your journey, you went to school, got your education. Yeah. Most people feel like I'm gonna get my education to leave. Mm -hmm. What <clears> made you say, "Hey, I've seen"? What did you see to say, "Man, I need to go back"? Yeah and serve my community because we've been taught, hey man, get your education and get on. Yeah, that's what I was taught. Yeah, that's what I was so taught. So what made you come back? Man, God, the Almighty, that's uh, he that's pushed real. me back. I can remember a time where, you know what I'm saying, I tried to leave. I, I was like, man, I didn't have enough. Man. Where I tried you to, to Where you go to? I went to Nashville. Nashville. Guess how long okay. I was in Nashville for? Six months. Okay. Six months, and, and God said, "Man, I'm gonna." He said, "I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you know. What I'm saying, go. Thank you. Want to go somewhere? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna bring your butt right back home, man. That's what he ended up doing. I, I went in there for six months, and it wasn't nothing terrible, or nothing bad. I didn't get fired or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just had, you know, what saying, a, a family situation that went on, and that I had to be back at home. Mm -hmm. I had to be back at home, so I came back home, man. I said, man, it's just God. When, when God finished with me, He'll let me leave. Shut up. Right it. now, He's not finished with me." It so, sounded like that book called The Alchemist. You ever read the? You ever heard about? I've heard the, of it. The Alchemist. Yeah, I heard yeah, of it. It sounded like The Alchemist. Yeah, man. Yep. So it's just a need for us to come back home because you got guys like you know uh, uh, James Talley, you got mm -hmm. Marcus Thomas, you got all those guys and Darius Price, Chris Sands. You got all of us. You know what I'm saying? They probably had plenty of opportunity to leave Chattanooga, but we mm -hmm. just stayed here and we yeah. seen it a purpose and a mission uh, to get out here and serve our community. Just like you got Tally over there with Howard, man, he doing a darn good job at Howard. Shout out, man. Man, did he killing it at Howard? Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying, not just Howard, but with his uh, with his youth with his uh, youth football organization, the Cowboys. So, mm -hmm. uh, just guys like that, just coming back home and just pouring back into our community is what we need. That's what our young men need. Is mm -hmm. guys like us, you know what I'm saying, to pour back into them, man. They 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 just want to be loved, man. They they want to have somebody to guide them and not throw them away like we've been doing for so long. Not saying us, yeah. but the city in general has just been yeah. throwing them away and giving up on them. We can't give up on our young men. And that's one thing I wanted to talk to you about, man, because a nigga really, you know, you know from what I do, man, I really be out here with the people that people done throw it away, man. Yeah, yeah. And they don't want nothing to do with them. Yeah. And that's some of the questions that I get, man. These folks really want to tap in with yeah. the city. But yeah. they really feel like the city don't fuck with them. That, yeah. And it's crazy to be born here. Like, motherfucker, we born here too. Like, we yeah. born here, bro. We here. But, like, because you don't understand me or you don't like the words I use or you don't understand my culture, yeah. it's like you won't give me a, a chance to add mm -hmm. fulfillment to Chattanooga. You I feel, feel me? Yeah. I feel like, this is what I feel like. You tell me if I'm wrong, bro. This is where it's finna get <laughs> I started. I guess I'm throw back at you when you finish that. <laughs> so, this is what I'm saying. As a, you, we got to look at Chattanooga as a team, as a whole. Yep. Yeah, you I feel me? Good. We is not capitalizing on everything that we got to offer. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got the, the mountains. We got the hiking. and We got the tourism. tourism. We got that. But it's other things that the black community can offer for tourism to come to Chattanooga. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But we just need a little assistance. That's true. Y'all can't, y'all can't. We ain't gonna sit here and act agree. like we ain't been held down all these years. Yeah. And y'all keep saying, well, just go do it. Well, we we in the negatives. Right, I'm gonna pick it back off right what you said. So you you said that we're not getting the resources. That's true. So my my I'm gonna throw this back at you. Is what about those that's that's uh that's in positions like mine that still get shut out and you think you can get in a get in a circle or you can get in the business or you can get in the company and you know what I'm saying make some things happen but you still got people that look like us that say nah we ain't connecting y'all mm -hmm. I don't care what you done accomplished mm -hmm. I don't care what you done did I'm, yeah. I'm good I ain't yeah. connecting you with them so I'm still gonna shut that door in your face with that being said especially with the banking system. We talked about, we done talked about voting, we done, <laughs> we done talked about all type of things. Tell a young brother like myself, because I don't believe in the voting system. I get it, I get That's it. That's me, but tell people, try to encourage me 
personally why I need to be like, hey, because me and Lil Mo, we done had this yeah, talk plenty yeah, of times. Yeah. I'm I like, yeah, I, I had that conversation all the time. I'm like, brothers like yourself, y'all should be there. But y'all so pure in what y'all doing and y'all intent, they be like, nah, we don't want that. So I'm like, I don't believe it works, so I ain't wasting my time. Lil Mo always tell me, yeah. man, what if? Yeah. What if? Just think about what if. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, bro, I ain't wasting no time. Because you giving up on the opportunity to even see. Yeah, no, sure. no, no. Okay, yeah, it sure. might be fake, but how you going to know if you don't vote? Okay. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> With me. Hey, if everybody vote, then what? But you just saying we don't even want to know. No, no, check this out. I he can't beat me. Hey, it's finna start hey, already. Hey, hey, I done already got it. Hey, we so right. check this out. So I, I get it. I get it. I done seen and heard both sides before all the time. But like I always tell people, national politics, that's cool. But what happens locally, that's what we need to be voting for. I could care less if you go vote nationally. But what happens in the state of Tennessee and what happens in the city of Chattanooga and what happens in Hamilton County, that is where it counts. The more people we can get out to vote and put people in, in position and hold them accountable, the better off we'll be. Look at Atlanta. Look at Fulton County. So you're going to say it don't work? I don't. When, we, on, when we was little, white people were at, white people was in control in Atlanta. How did it change? Hold on. Yo, oh. Niggas start voting. Man, we gotta roll. We, I, man, over. we gotta vote, bro. <laughs> Locally, we have to vote. That's what okay. affects us the most. This my thing. I believe in brothers like yourself, even sisters like Marie Mott. But I've talked to Monty Brewer, you, Marie Mott, and my thing is, all y'all that I seen who could really make a difference, when y'all run, they say, well, why you? I'm like, I don't believe it works. So y'all have people who voting for y'all because y'all pushing the line. But think about, hold on, I'm gonna catch you right now. I'm gonna let you come back to Come on it. with it. But think about them gatekeepers that blocked that. When are we gonna say enough is enough and but, stop them and say, look, dude, you tripping. Ain't no way in the world you should be running against a brother that we know is gonna be right by our city. Yes, you man. need to step back. You need to step out. When we, when we gonna put our foot down and tell these people that's blocking what, what we're trying to accomplish and get to the next level? That's, I'm with you on that, yeah. but that's part of the why. It's like a fixed fight. If you got the gatekeepers, <laughs> if you got the gatekeepers, yeah. like I might be, I'm pro system. I ain't for the people at all. I'm pro system. They gonna keep me. I'm using this as an example. They gonna keep me in place. Mm -hmm. You pro people, man. Mm -hmm. We love what you're doing. You even got the support, but we gotta get him out of here because this is best. For business, but that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Which I do study politics. But it's not just it that I'm uninformed. Nigga, you can study it. and still fail a test. So what I'm trying I, to tell I, you is, I don't fail many of them. Yeah. <laughs> so look, that don't mean you got the answer because you study politics. What I'm trying to tell you yeah, is, my, it's nigga, you promoting, not voting. No, 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 no. You just got to say, I don't said, believe I don't. in vote. That's me. Exactly. But I always said. I don't want nobody to make no Charles difference. Charles Barkley said he want no role model. I'm not Charles but Barkley. But he is. Hey, but bro, if you don't vote, you can't complain. You can't say no, nothing. No, no, no. I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm saying in general. I'm not complaining. I'm saying I'm doing what I feel like, okay, even if I don't vote. Doing nothing? You think, what that? Nothing equals nothing, nigga. So that's mean I'm doing nothing because I don't check a box? Yeah, nothing. No, I'm out nothing. here. I'm out here in the community working with guys. Trying to help them in multiple ways, just it's bigger than checking a box. Y'all know that. Yeah. I ain't knocking just because I don't do it. That don't I don't never knock it. And I've always said I don't knock nobody who do. Okay. It's just not for me. So that's good. I'm glad you're doing this. You see this? This is the type of <laughs> shit I be dealing with. So beat the game. You need niggas to vote for you, right? Yep, I Absolutely. You is the nigga who gonna hey, help the community. Let, let, let me say this. Convince now, this nigga, man. That's why I said it. Make this nigga vote, now man. Is the best time than ever to put forward you to vote for somebody because check this out. So I got a black guy, I got me, and I got a white girl in this in this uh in my election, in my primary. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's what could potentially happen between this black guy? These two black guys and this white girl, what could potentially happen? Y'all gonna split, and she gonna get hers, and she gonna win. So now why now why should we vote? I get that, but see, okay, bam. Even with that, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell now, you. Now hold on, now, now, hold now, on, now, hold now, on, let hold me go ahead and this father. Now this, now this no, person, none of these people right here, have, 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 both of these people right here has got in the election late, last minute. Okay. So they ain't have to show no financials. But this guy over here, Montreal, 
he got in it on time and got his paperwork in and turned his financials in so you can see where his money coming from and yeah. see who investing in him. Mm -hmm. But now you got these two people, so why wouldn't you get out and vote and support this man right here as much as you can so really to get like him in that home? Yeah, really? There it's you really go. Okay, there you I'm go. Finna, I'm finna give it's you. like the marriage race. It was five on one. I'm finna give you the further deeper of the game. You said you running for county commission in what district? 11. 11. If you don't live in District 11, you can't do, I can't vote for you, right? But you know people that live in District 11. I I tell people, that's why I'm here in support of you and Lil Mo. I'm here to push the narrative. Hey, I support guys like Montreal. I yeah. even said it. I can't vote for you because I'm not in your district, I but know. I tell people, hey, but you this, vote, listen, I'm telling them. It's going to be a time you can, though. Trust no, me. No, I'm saying, if, if we <laughs> live in the same district, then I can vote for you as my commissioner. This, the people in my com that I'm in the district with, I don't connect with them at all. This is all a little more saying. This is all I'm saying, y'all. I don't feel like niggas understand the importance of voting, man. man some if you vote. can vote, it don't take, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be, we be crying, bro, about shit. We be like, oh, it be some simple shit, yeah. bro. That all you need is the right person in there who feel like you. Yeah. And they gon' they gonna push what you trying to push. But then you so it's like my count. mama say, my, this is what my mama tell me. Yeah. I say, well, mama, I say, so you read the Bible, you know, you go for a Christian and she say, well, baby, if I'm wrong about being a Christian and being about God, I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather go on and ride with it just in case heaven and hell is true than to find out one day that, damn, this shit was true. You know what I'm saying? Like, so she just gonna, she said, I'm gonna ride with it just in case. So that's my thing. That, that, that's, that's not even serious as going to heaven and hell. This just like helping that nigga making shit better in the hood. You feel me? So if you send it, and I know you say you ain't Charles Barkley and it don't matter, but you got to understand that it do matter, bro. No, I'm not. Because it don't matter if it's five or ten people, bro. They fuck with, we're rolling. They ride with RMJR. And if RMJR are out here preaching, man, I don't believe in vote. Fuck vote. No, no, no. Uh, this vote. is what I'm saying. It, it's, 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 it's fixed. I, over and over. It don't count. Over and you gonna over. have ten other niggas. Let me let me see because it's important. Go ahead. It's I'm gonna be ten you. other niggas who be like, man, I feel like rolling, man. You you pushing that? Twenty of them. Like, why push that though? Why? Why? Even if I did vote, but I always encourage people to vote, bro, because I understand. I'm looking at Atlanta. I'm looking at Oakland. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at North Carolina, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at these places. Houston. These people vote Houston. They voting in black people, bro. But let me say this, cause. Just because I don't vote, I still miss. What make you think it's on. a fix? Let, let's be honest. He just, what he just said. What make you think the voting what? is a hold fix? Hold on, hold That's on. Because Look people at didn't come out and the vote. fix is they tricking, like they, they, they tricking you not to vote. They 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 tricking you not to vote. That's the fix. No, listen. If I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this clear, I know you. If I was in your district, because I know you, I would vote for you. But the people in my district, I don't know them. They ain't did nothing. They took the time to come talk to you. Hell no. I'm glad you said that, bro. Say it, say it again. Say it again. I don't know them. I've been living in my district What's three years. What, what district? I live out there right around the corner from Tyler. So you, uh, okay, okay. I don't even know what the district is. I just know I ain't never seen nobody. They don't come, they ain't studying me. Because this, I don't even think where I'm living at, it's a, it's a person running against the person. Man, I, I think man. it's just solo. So it's like they ain't tricking. So you saying it's territorially fixed? Yeah. Territory, yeah, yeah. territory. Cause he in a district where he can make a difference, but they gonna put people in to keep the same old thing going. That's why I interview him. That's why I'm here. I ain't never saying don't support our people. Never am I saying that. I'm just saying it's fixed. I know you would make a difference. I, I felt like Marie Mott would make a difference. That's why I interview people who everybody I interview or stand in the gap with who run, I feel like they can make a difference. I wouldn't even talk to them. So that's why I'm saying this is how I see it, but it further proves it. Like you would have did a damn good job. She would have did a damn good job. And we looking at it like, then who y'all give us? It's like, oh, my hands is tied. And then they do it to where, okay, I don't know too much about county commission, but I'ma just use the, uh, what is it? The district of, uh, what? <clears throat> the city council. Mm -hmm. It's like, 
you vote in a council person. Then, cause see, I've studied it. You vote in a council person, but in order for them to get something done, they have to vote. So, okay, we're voting on this person. Then we voting for this person. They got to vote, and they got to come together as a collective, and they got it set up to where the gentrification is, okay, we got this side, we got this side. We're going to give y'all these two or three spots to make you think you gain and ground, but it's a, it's a fixed fight. That's all I'm saying. I'm not against supporting brothers and sisters who I feel like can make a difference. That's why I'm here. But I'm telling you, you gotta see both sides. So sometimes we gotta look at it like, damn, this ain't been working for us. So let's try something different. I'm not, I'm never- That ain't gonna change, bro. I mean, but we, how much of a difference- I always have to vote for something, but it ain't gonna change, that ain't gonna ever change. But I'm saying, how much difference have you made even not being elected? You still make a difference regardless. Yeah. That's what I'm it's saying. It's taking it to a higher level to I get, where I get money's that. affected then, where you can you can actually get the money to go to where it needs to go. You can get the resources that's been hid from us for so long to where it needs to go. Because if this white lady get it, she gonna put the money where she, she gonna push where she feel like it need to go. But like, I he get, gonna push where he feel like it need to go. I get that. And that's why I'm making a point. Like when I say I don't believe in it, it's not that I'm, a lot of people think when I say I don't believe in it, I, I've studied it from the local level to the to the highest level. And I'm like, bruh, it just don't make sense. I see the fix. I know you can make a difference. I know others can make a difference. But look at what we up against. So, okay, if this don't work, we gotta try something else. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. What's to try something else if you said you ain't never voted? I, you ain't never voted and ain't nothing changed. What could you do on, different hold on, hold to on, try hold something on, else? Hold on. I got it. No, you know look, you did. Let come me, on. Let me make my point. I voted in, I voted with, when Obama won the first term. I voted all across the board. Far as the, uh, that's why he even made my point for me for the presidential election. No, uh, I voted Democrat. Obama was a Democrat. No, since I'm, I was born in 83, no Democrat has ever won the state of Tennessee since I've been living. So it's not that I'm uninformed on what I'm talking about. I see this. So I'm saying that's because we don't vote, bro. But we we don't vote, bro. We we, we don't vote. Okay, you don't think we were voting? They counted us not to vote. You don't think we were voting when Obama came out? We were voting, but we weren't and we voting. And we still lost. We weren't voting at the capacity that we could be voting at, though. That's all I'm saying. I bro. I get that. A row. Let's say in my district alone, let's just say we got we got ten thousand votes in my district alone. I even say twenty thousand. Yeah. And let's say fifteen thousand of them are black votes. Okay. But we only got 5,000 or 15,000 to come out and vote. That makes a difference. I get if we get mean. all 15,000 of that black vote to come out and vote, man, the narrative of the story changed. So, we okay. have to come out and vote. So this what we, we got to vote. If this we don't vote, we can't make no change. We can't make, We can still make a change, but we can't that's make what a they, Hold on, what I'm trying to, hold on now. Listen, what I'm trying to tell you, that's what they're using against us, yeah. bro. They, that's what I was, the example I'm making. This is vote. This yeah. represents voting, right? Okay. Look, all this shit down here. Look, all this yeah. confusion. You got a phone, water bottle, all this shit. The the solution right here in your face. It's right. All you gotta do is grab it. Look, but you worried about all this down here, and they got it right in your face. They say if you wanna hide something from a nigga, do what? Put it in a book. That's why I read. Okay. You want to hide something about nigga uh, vote? They say vote, vote, vote. Niggas like, man, that shit ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. It ain't gonna do nothing. They know you gonna think like that. Yeah. They can't know you. It'll fuck them up if every nigga, and get what we got, you gotta learn to use. This is what we don't do a lot of times. I'm finna give you, let, let me just go here. We just talking, bro. Let me yeah. just go here. Come on with So me. look, I'm gonna tell you something. We done had several opportunities as black people to turn negatives into positives and change our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Uh, we had the Black Wall Street. We had all that. You feel me? We didn't have security set up though. When they came and fucked all that shit up, had to start over. Mm. Then we get it back going. They come in with this drug shit. You feel me? Fucked our neighborhoods up with the drug shit. Niggas was getting so much money when niggas was selling crack. When crack came out, 
But guess what? Niggas didn't take the money and do what they supposed to did with it. Yeah. Niggas didn't go buy property. Niggas didn't go buy businesses. Yeah. Niggas, some niggas did, and they still straight to this day. Yeah. If we had to took advantage of that negative opportunity and turned it into a positive, you see what I'm saying? We don't take advantage. Everybody just got stimulus checks and all this shit. What niggas did? Went and bought Gucci, yeah. Louis Vuitton, do it. All. We not taking advantage. Man. Of the opportunities. You feel me? They giving it to us, bro. All we gotta do is vote. Yeah. Niggas ain't taking advantage. Listen, listen. Get out your feelings. I'm not in my feelings. Hear me. Listen to I'm what I'm saying. I'm we listening. not taking advantage of, look. Man, these folks really fumbling. They got the shit right in our face. All we gotta do is get every nigga to go vote yeah. for the right person. Okay. It's right there, but guess what? Niggas want to go buy the Lua and the Gucci. They don't want to do what need to be done to make everything better. Every brand new pair of J to come out. So, okay, let's do this. What our areas, easy, what our areas do District 11 cover? It covers Alton Park, East Lake, St. Elmo, uh, Lookout Valley, Lookout Mountain, half of downtown, all this side over here of downtown. All right, Missionary Ridge, uh, one street over the ridge. So look out, Mountain and Missionary Ridge pretty much beating out all the black people in the vote. Shit, shit say that more long. Hello, say So alone. okay, so that you said this part of downtown that includes the west side and all that. No, it don't include the west side. Uh, see, that's what I'm. All my votes. I mean, but I, he I, said, I, he's no, no, I'm just thinking. thinking. We still got black people spread it all across the district. Plenty of votes, but man. you know what I'm saying. We still have to get people to come out and vote for me. Yeah, yeah. Regardless, and uh, that's the goal. It, that's that, that goal. So even if it's on Lookout Mountain, or Lookout Valley, or Missionary Ridge, we still gotta get people. We gotta relate to people and get people to come out and vote. So this what also has to happen. I'm, so I'm all about changing. I could, I like I said, I believe in what you're doing. We also have to have a coalition with just, not just you. You one seat. Mm -hmm. We gotta have how many? How many uh, districts is it? It's uh, 11 now. So, to vote, I'm pretty sure when you get in there, you got to cast a vote to get something done. Just kind of yeah. similar. Yeah. So, you got to have, we got to damn near win half, basically. So, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, we we got to have you in there. Mm -hmm. That's a must. So, that's why, that's why I'm saying let's have this conversation. So, that's why I'm saying show me what's, what's the importance in voting. Talking to y'all, I see, okay, I don't even live in your district, but I could do, I know people, hey, you live in that district, you need to, you know, I'm telling you, you need to vote yeah. for him. And they going this what's gonna make it even colder. For me to say I don't even believe in voting, they gonna know it's something different because I'm telling them to vote for you. You see Montreal, you see how he moving his hands. There you go. That's there how you, you know. go. Hold on, you see how he moving his hands. That's how you know this nigga can't hoop. Look. We talking about changing the world. You talking about hoop. Look, he got me. Man, you look, not, this look, this you what I'm you trying not to show the video the way you done. Uh, Put up some trick shots and then you talking about hooping. Don't some do that. Tricks, I don't, don't do that. Jump. <laughs> don't do that. I'm man. finna play. Hold on. Now Montreal played ball. Montreal, there you Montreal go. hoop. There you go. He hooped that brain. I gotta see it in my own time. I, I hooped that time. I hooped that time. I know you listen. Hold on. Who you hoop for? What you mean? Where you hoop at? You talking about in high school? That what you I'm talking about? about period. What I played in middle school. I ain't playing high school. Middle school. I was, look, I was dealing with real life. They let like, anybody oh. play in middle school to keep kids out the street. Don't do that. Man, don't know about that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. They could play in my middle school. <laughs> they could play in ours. Hey, you had to earn your jerseys at my middle school. I started. Don't do that. I don't break it down. Let me say this. I had to deal with real life issues when I was in the ninth grade. My father passed, so I was like, hey, I want the hoop. But it's more pressing issues. Like, even with this, I'm focusing on, okay, I don't believe in voting. Y'all saying, let's do it. So I'm like, okay, let's try it. I ain't messed up with trying something. It ain't gonna kill me. That's what I'm telling you. Let's it's try free. it. It's so free. It's free. I'm gonna push the narrative. But like I said, we gotta have we gotta have a coalition. If they charge you to vote, you will go do it then. <laughs> but who? <you, Ooh>, damn. <laughs> when it's free, nigga won't even do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. And it's like I studied the system. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So let me it's ask y'all this. So how do y'all how do y'all feel about when um, how do y'all feel about when you have two black men or two black people running against each other, and then a a, a 
boom, I'm just gonna jump in this race because I know it's a possibility that I can, I can win. I ain't did nothing in the community. I ain't never did nothing in the community. Yeah. I ain't never stepped foot in these communities. Yeah. So how do y'all feel about that when, you know what I'm saying, something like that? It, it don't even have to be a white field. It could be a white male. Mm -hmm. that's, part of, that's part of what I was talking about as far as the fit yeah. 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 It's like, how do we, how do, how do we, how do we put our foot down and say, man, look, we ain't standing for this? To me, the whole coalitions and you know how y'all pressing the issue with me? Hey, we need to vote. Like you got, you gotta do that. The like bottom other line, people. The the only way, the only way to win this shit, bro, is to vote. <laughs> it ain't no other way. Nah, it's deeper than voting. And I'm saying know. you got, like you, we gotta have one, but we gotta have multiple because we we just looking at the initial. Like we get my trail in. Say we, we get him in, that's the goal. But it's 10 other people that ain't going against, they going against what he, what he trying to push, we don't get nothing accomplished. I feel we like get, we, we got to get at least half. We got to have that mindset. You know, that's, 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 that's true. That's true what you're saying, Ro. But the reason why that happens is because we don't show up at, him, at the county commission meetings to say, hey, we backing what he's saying, and this is why we feel the way we feel. When you go to those meet, school board meetings, council, uh, uh, city, city council, council meetings, county commission meetings, you don't hardly see us. They know we ain't gonna be but, there. But let one of them need some pass. They gonna have about 30 or 40 people show up at that at that meeting saying why this needs to be passed. Because they understand how important it is. Yeah. You think they just there for no reason? No, but, hear me out. Why but, you think they showing but, up? But to, 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 to understand why we don't show up sometimes, because nine times out of 10, we got to work. I was just finna say We got to work. I was just nine finna times say out of 10, that. we have to work. Yeah. But we make, we, make, uh, we make it a priority. We make time to do what we want to do. Mm. Even, if, even if it calls to take off work. Mm -hmm. We have to, true. and some things we have to be educated on things, why is it important? Cause some people be like, look, I know that my job and is important job, yeah. with getting this, getting this money, paying these bills. We gotta, cause by the time it get addressed, we be like, dang, if I would've knew this, I would've showed up. But yeah. by then, and they done already had their meeting, they done passed what yeah. they gonna pass, and we asked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, and I, it's that, it's that, count, it, it's that, that's the city councilman, county commission, the school board representative per, uh, job to get the information out. I think who doing a, who doing a great job at that right now is Rakita Dotley. She makes mm -hmm. sure Austin Park and all her communities know what's going on on that county, on, on that city council. Mm -hmm. So that's what we got to hold our people that we're voting, uh, voting in is to get, the, let the community know what's going on so that we can take action. Yeah. That's what we're missing. That's what we're dropping the ball at. We haven't had anybody, uh, 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 we haven't had anybody after William Cotton, uh, to you know address that and push that narrative and say hey this is what happened i need y'all to show up mm -hmm. so we have to have more of that we have to have more accountability to you know what i'm saying the people that we elect and that's what we're missing the one accountability thing, piece one thing scared me bro you know what I'm saying? i used to work at uh, i used to work at a spot downtown i won't say where it's at but i used to work downtown mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh they had a they had a meeting one i know what you talking about that they had a meeting you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying it was about the future of the city of chattanooga now I'm just working there. And shouts out to my, I won't say his name, but shouts out to my supervisor. You feel me? He was like, Mo, I want you to be here because you need to be here. You yeah. know, you need to see this. And I get in there and they literally talking about the plans for Chattanooga from 20 years from now, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about they got, they, 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 they already know how downtown go look. They already gonna know what business is finna come in town, what angle they yeah. finna go to, and yeah. guess what? Man, it one but two black people in there. It was just like one, one like architect dude. Too. It's just one architect dude. He was an older guy and me, nigga, working. You I feel me? I was gonna name you. I was gonna name two other people. That was the only two, nigga. It was everybody else. And I'm like, and in my mind, I'm like, what the, what the flyers at? Didn't nobody tell no yeah, niggas on. that this shit was going on. Nah, so if get what it made me feel like we is not incorporated into the future of we this not. city we not no, we and that's not. the facts i seen that with my own eyes so i ain't finna argue with nobody no, right. i know for a fact they don't have us in mind bro for ain't the right. future they look at us as pay fines pay tickets go to jail fill the jail yeah, up and work do this and, and work these jobs and, and stay on the rat race you know th that's what they use us for bro and i'm sick of this shit I'm with you. Cause we got more to offer than that. I and I feel like if they see what the fuck going on, 
in Atlanta, and but you know what I feel like they scared of? And I'm just being straight up, you know what I feel like they scared of? What's that? If you get these niggas a little inch, it's if you get these niggas a little foot in it to this infrastructure to what we done created in Chattanooga, it's a threat to our future family, to yeah. our future people. That's and true. them white folks understand that. That's true. They're not gonna tell you that straight out their mouth. That's true. They gonna say, we run this motherfucker. You feel me? That's why the nigga, this whole city is set up demeaningly, bro. Them understand. folks on top of the mountain and they look down on us. Yeah. They look down on us. And we like begging them to be a part of they shit. Like we like, can we do this? Can we, you know, and then we, we ain't even being ourselves. Like I see niggas not even being they self. Nigga, I know you ain't like that. You ain't like that. I know you for real, nigga. I done seen you <laughs> at the club before. And then I see this. That ain't you, bro. But they got us doing that shit. They capping. And yeah. guess how you beat them though? How is it? Be yourself. Yeah. But niggas scared what that look like. Niggas don't know what that look like. Yeah. You feel me? It's, 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 it's like lifting weights. It's, it's, it, it hurt. It hurt to be like, oh shit. Like, but all it takes is all these niggas to get together and say, look, man, we don't want to be. Okay, y'all don't want us. What Pimp C say? Man, we've been trying to fuck with New York forever. Y'all don't want. Well, fuck y'all. We don't want to be hip hop. We country hip hop. We rap tunes. Country rap tunes. You see what I'm saying? Change the whole south. We ain't need them no more. Okay, we, we begging y'all to please let us be a part of hip hop. New York, please, please. These niggas like, oh, y'all niggas, y'all talk too funny. Oh, y'all don't dress like us, y'all don't do this. And we like, damn, bro, but we fuck with y'all, fuck with us. And then they like, nah, da, da, da. then niggas finally got fed up and was like, well, fuck y'all niggas then. Pretty we gonna make the cool shit. Time. Now, don't nobody want to even go to the river bend. They want to go to what we got. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what's gonna happen. But see, okay. Niggas scared to do it though. I feel what you're saying, and I've always been pushing that line. That's why I was reiterating earlier, we've seen certain things not working. So I ain't opposed to trying it uh, one or two more times. But my thing <laughs> is, this is just straight up. Like, I'm, I'm going to push the line. We got to get him, her, him, her, and it got to be multiple because I understand that. Because we need... To get the money we trying to get, we need a collective. Mm -hmm. Cause what we have been focusing on in the past, we need one or two. Then when them one or two get in there, they looking at y'all like, man, y'all didn't bring nobody but us. What y'all want us to do? Mm -hmm. So we got to look at it ahead of time. We need Montreal. We need this person, this person, this person. Then we got our representation. Then at that point, we can say, what's the excuse? Cause now you without excuse. Y'all say we ain't voted, we voted, so we here now. So let's do that, I'm with that. Mm -hmm. And if that don't work, then we gotta revisit the conversation. Cause we can't keep doing stuff expecting a different result and the same thing keep happening. And you know what's not gonna work? That weak ass Call of Duty shirt you got on. Call and this Duty. is the perfect time to shout out our sponsors, <laughs> the Chattanooga Self Museum. Let's say that again. Hey man, let me say the something about this. Go ahead, hey, go ahead. I know y'all probably see me just looking around like I'm like really amazed by this shit, this shit though, bro. Man. This shit like yeah. man, I, it's kind of like mind blowing like to see like all this stuff in here. Yeah, like man. you know what I'm saying? This was this was a like darn good idea. It's big, like. Yeah. Man, if you ain't came to the Seven Museum, you need I, to get down here. You need to get down here. This, man, you see me looking around, ain't cause I'm I'm tripping or nothing, man. I'm just like amazed by like all the stuff that's in here. Like you can like take pictures of it. You man. see in like magazines, cause this ain't number like a magazine it's photo big. shoot. People come shoot videos. Yeah, out, yeah, yeah it's man, big, it's dope man. in here for real. It's and big, I ain't man. and I ain't know what I'm saying just. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fluffing it up. It's, yeah. it's the truth. So y'all make fact. sure y'all come down to the Chattanooga Central Museum, man. 1401 William Street, Chattanooga, Tennessee. You feel me? So let's change the subject a little bit, man. Because yeah. we yeah. we went hard into to the politics and all that. Yeah, and I felt like we want, we needed to get that off for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's I do want to show people that you is still a regular... I mean, I'm, I'm just, a regular guy. I'm a regular guy, I'm going to say it like that. So anybody, you, anybody can talk to me, bro. So you play, you play ball... You know what I'm saying, uh, for Brainer or yeah, whatever. Y'all yeah, play, play, uh, biggest rivalry was Howard. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? 
and Tyna. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got a Howard guy in here today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what was what was that like, man? Like what was man, that process man. like? Cause See, it was hard y'all got bro. the best. Y'all, I'm gonna just keep it real. Y'all had the best program in okay. basketball. It was hard for me. Oh, it was extra hard. It was hard for me, bro. I went from Austin Park. Bring talk about it. Bro, I caught. Did you hell. feel like a traitor? <laughs> no, uh uh, I didn't. You can't control what no, you. No, I can't. I could, it's something I couldn't control. It, yeah. it wasn't in my power. You know what I'm saying? People, and it's still today, people that still don't understand that shit was not in my power. So deep down inside, you a tiger, though. Yeah. He don't want to admit you. Tell the brain of folks. <laughs> like I was saying. The brain of folks. Like I was saying, though, man. It was, man, I caught hell every day, bro. Like, I'm talking about. Going from Brandon to how Brandon to our own part, Brandon to our own part. Mm -hmm. I was coming home catching hell. I was going to Brandon catching hell. Yeah, Lee. had a I double whammy. I had a double whammy. So it really, man, it, it, it really was hard, but I adapted, bro, because that's just is that's it? just who that's I am. Cool. Uh but I was you know, I just showed what I could do on the field and in yeah. the gym. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And on the track. So that's how I made my name. That's how, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I I, I earned every everything yeah. I've had to do. I've had to earn my shit. Mm -hmm. Everything. I don't care yeah. what it is. Everything from when I was in high school all the way up to now, middle school, all that. that means I've always too, had to earn. Versus it. somebody just getting it to you. And even yeah. now, with this with this race, I'm still having to earn my shit. You earn it, yeah. It don't change. It yeah. don't change, but it man, change. I wouldn't change nothing I went through for anything. Mm -hmm. That adversity, all that taught me so much and, and, and how to, you know what I'm saying, battle the people that are in these circles in the city, That's in the it. county, and how to maneuver around them. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, that man, sports and going to school on opposite sides of town taught me so much. So who you? So who you? Who you? Uh, who you? Uh, who you would say is probably the? Uh, I'm gonna give you my two Ooh, first. I know what you're gonna I'm say. Gonna give, okay, we'll do three. We'll do three. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I'm gonna say Lucas. From all from all part. You doing here. middle school or high school? I don't need. I'm talking about just balling. Period. Yeah. Nigga didn't even have best, to play for the school. The best basketball. Gonna, player. Let, let me give. Let me. We're gonna all give our three. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna say Lucas. This album. Nah, it's nah. Not. Just from, uh, uh, say uh, uh, just from what you know. Doing, just from what I know. Show. Cause I didn't get to see Victor you, Barkins this and say, all them play. This ain't our era. Our era. Okay, okay. In our era, there you go. In our era. I'm gonna say. People say Wooson was the bad thing, baddest thing in Chattanooga. He was cold. He was cold. I heard about it. But I'm going to say Lucas. Lucas didn't even never play in high school, school really all boy. the way. But I feel like that nigga was going to be the one, bro. He was a bad boy. The streets called him, but he was going to be the one. Yeah. Second, I got to give it to Harris. You know what I'm saying? I got to give it to Harris. Harris is rough, bro. And third, I got to give it to Harris' brother, Ant-Man. Ant -Man. You Ooh. feel me? That's my... That's, that nigga was like, George, nigga. That nigga come in with his shirt tucked in. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. That nigga come in the gym with his shirt tucked in, <laughs> with the J's on, the Jordan shorts, everything. That nigga, boy, that nigga was a star, nigga. I'm talking about, hey. So who you? I'm trying, I'm trying to think. Go ahead, bro, why you thinking? You say three? Three. <sighs> okay. Whew. Basketball. We talking about basketball. basketball. Okay, I got my three. Go ahead. I'm gonna say my three probably will be my three will be. God, oh, that's on Harris is definitely the top three for he me. He got to be in there. Yeah, he's top three. He got to be. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to go on the limb. I'm gonna say. I'm saying, if y'all don't remember Cornelius Hayes. I do remember Cornelius oh, Hayes. That boy man. fast as grease. He's like yeah. fast as hell, and he can hell the hell out that basketball. Man, I wonder what dude been up to. That nigga was a legend, boy. Yeah, yeah he was a bad he, boy. Yeah, he, and he, he had them hops. He was a little yeah, nigga, too. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. a bad boy. Yeah, yeah, he was cold, but it was cold. And then I'm going to have to add a big man in there. So I'm gonna say probably the baddest big man that I seen in my era was probably was uh, CJ Black. CJ Black. He was tough. That nigga yeah, broke the rims. He CJ was tough. tough. He was tough. I, I can't I can't leave by Dale because I seen Dale, Dale Big Dale saying. Yeah. I seen Dale, Dale man. Yeah. He might have been a big dude, but he get up and down that floor. And I seen him get some. I seen him set a pick on Johnny Goodman. He one was time. just in the one that I yeah. saw. Yeah, 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 he was here. 
I seen him set a picture. Today I just had the shit at the uh Chattanooga, at the Chattanooga Selfie yeah. Museum. I seen him yeah. set a pic on Johnny Goodman one time, man. Woo. It was at the uh at the what is it called the McKenzie Arena. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought Who Johnny made? dead. He like Johnny soul left his body here today. <laughs> I'm talking about he ran, I'm talking about like a brick wall. Johnny man. Goodman was cold too though. But I seen Johnny, man, I seen some good basketball growing up. I seen Johnny walk the dog on somebody in the damn the referees ain't know what the damn call. Damn. Man, Johnny, man, Johnny threw that ball at Buddy and that ball came back. Yeah, fuck <laughs> Referees, he fucked the referees up because referees yeah. was like, damn, is that a carry? Like, they blew the whistle, but they could, they didn't know what to call. All I know is that nigga Harris was a highlight reel, man. man. All I know is this nigga here was so man, bread. Best got the hell out I ain't of never way. seen no shit like this in my life, nigga. This nigga was, nigga. I was a little boy, nigga. I used to be, nigga. I was at the game, nigga. This nigga, this nigga threw that hey, motherfucker you know behind his. But you can't leave He did it like this. He, bro, that nigga threw that motherfucker like this and caught it in the game. Oh, you, 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 can't, you can't leave out Big Joe Reed, though. Joe Reed was tough. It's a, Joe Reed was, yeah, Joe Reed. It was a, it's a lot he of tough. He was bigger than everybody, <laughs> though. <laughs> he could, could get some more big niggas like him and see what he do. <laughs> Hold on, let's get a bunch of big niggas. Yeah. And that's no disrespect. That nigga went to Tyler. Yeah. But you know I'm going to keep it real. You yeah. feel me? Like, nigga, Joe was a beast. But I also played ball. And you know I ain't lying, Joe Reed. I played ball with Joe Reed at the rec center. And if shit ain't going Joe Reed way, get what? Tell me I'm lying, Joe. Joe will take the ball and lead the gym. Look, ain't nobody playing. What you gonna do about it? And everybody like, man, damn, Joe. God damn, can we play, bro? No, fuck that. Y'all cheating. You fired me, nigga. All right, man. God damn. Yo, mom. Oh, man. Look, three times, five. He keep calling this layup. We win. Okay, next. Who you got? Who you got? Ain't stupid. Who you got? Ain't no All right, I got three. And all on, Sir Lee Mason. Can, hey, can I say something to stir the pot? The top of all time? Can I say something? Surely ain't never scored over 15 points hey, on me. Hey, hey. I eat a hey, bass. I ain't hey, nobody. Hey, 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 can I stir the pot? Don't do it. Go can ahead. I, can I stir do the pot? Thing. Go ahead. Do your thing. I know they're going to be mad at me, but if it was a Luke Oops Brown, it would be no Sir Lee or it would be no Sid Dosh. Bam! Ooh, 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 ooh. Luke, I'm sorry, man. I love both of them dudes. I love both of them dudes. I love both of them dudes. I understand, but you need to you need to elaborate on that. You got to. you go. Man, Lucas was just something different, bro. I know. I played against him. I know. Man, dude was I seen him play, man, and man, dude was just something. It was something special about dude. The stuff I seen on the football field Lucas was doing, it was just like like wow, like like people in the NFL, you seen that? You seen people in the NFL doing that? And then the stuff he was doing on the, on the basketball court, man, he couldn't stop, buddy, man. Let me say, I was, I, look, I'm, I'm gonna put my, I was, I was lucky to even have a spot bro. on the middle school team. Man, who played then? Let me say this, cause I gotta say this. I played at uh, Chattanooga Phoenix too, bro. We we beat on part one time, bro. No <laughs> lie, one time, <laughs> bro. We almost got to fighting in our locker room. Cause Lucas would come down and do the same move. The, the same. spin move. <laughs> nah, they hesitate, they hesitate move. <laughs> they do hesitate. I know? Hesitate. So, so we were like yeah. spin. The reason I didn't put Lucas on on the list, this just me. He if he would have played, he would have been on my list. Yeah. He didn't play in high. But I just had to start a pot on that. I, 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 I totally did it. Did it on that. But I, I like them dudes, man. They ain't taking nothing from them. Hey, said we're cold. Hey, said, they hey, said that defense and that jumper, man. Sir Lee, yeah. Sir Lee was a beast. Yeah. Sir, Lee. Sir Lee had a mean damn crossover too. Yes, sir. Fast as light. Guess who else we're cold on niggas be forgetting about? Ricky. Sky. Ooh, I forgot about Rodney Scott. Rodney Jones. I, I forgot about Scott. Scott. Shout out Scott. I forgot about Scott. Scott yeah. was the chat time Steph Curry, man. Man, that dude. That boy would come he, across he, the half court he line. He had some too, bro. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, but he would come across that half court line. Yeah, Hold on, let me give him a three. Sir Lee, Vincent Yabro, and Harris Walker. Vincent Yabro from Yabra. Cleveland, man. I mean, that's the area. So we 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 just talking about Chattanooga. Man, no, man, we talking about Chattanooga, okay. man. Okay, so I take Vincent off. Vincent yeah, was bad. He was bad, though. He was cold. Yeah, I get it to him. Vincent gave a of hell. He boy. did. He was cold. <laughs> Shit. He, he was cold. He gave a brain of hell. He was cold. So, Sir Lee, Sir Lee, uh, Harris Walker, and I got one more. <sighs> I gotta go with my boy G Long, man. G Long yeah. from the T Fat. Yeah. G Long. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Gary. Hey, boy. <laughs> I gotta go with my boy G Long. Hey, boy. Ooh. 
I mean, I ain't gonna never forget finna play that shit. That nigga hit the game winner on Brain, the nigga. I ain't on. Ooh, the nigga. Hold on, watch this. Watch this. My boy finna kill me. I'm finna play the clip. Hold up, my I'm boy finna play the clip. Finna play the kill me. Cause guess who he hit the shot on? Who? Everybody wanna coop beat. <laughs> Every yeah. night, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Corey Trust shit. Corey Trust, man, he lived under that backboard. Cool. Man. You do not want to see me, my nigga. You feel me? You don't want to hey, see Coop, this shit. Hey, Coop is strong as hell, too, bro. Coop, Coop strong as damn ox, man. Man, I don't want to hear that shit. Hey, I'm just telling you. Know you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. I'm trying to tell you, nigga. Any nigga, any one of you niggas want to shoot these jump shots and goddamn get this work. Get it right. He, he, talk, he talking about shoot jump shots. He ain't going to get on that court and play no one on one. He talking about shoot jump shots. Cause he Let me tell y'all, no one on one. That's what he Can I keep it real? Can I keep it real though? Yes, sir. And playing one on one, nigga on five eight. <laughs> Look, these niggas six three, six four. Now let's play team. <laughs> okay, we can bat, we can do team. I'll be effective then, but when I'm going against niggas six two and six three, you gotta have some heart, mo. Get what? Get You supposed to beat me though. Get what I told you. It's over with. Get what I told you. She was like, man, we can play one on one. I told her, I said, listen, you better hit your jumpers, and I'm taking you in the paint. I ain't gonna play with you. See, they scared. Well, with now, I'm just smart. Well, I'm gonna play with you. advantage. You gonna do your advantage. That's just be playing smart. That's too funny. But yeah, at the end of the day, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we just want to salute you, bro. Absolutely. Man, I appreciate you feel it, bro. You out here doing your thing, man. And, and uh, what really made me want to uh, tap in with you, man. I just been out here in the, in the city yeah. doing stuff. And I be in places where people don't really be messing with. Man, and man. I always seem to run into one brother when I'm doing stuff. He in the place. <laughs> man, let me tell you something, man. And, uh... I've been itching to you know what I'm saying, get on the show and really rap with y'all, man, because I really like what y'all doing. And I just, I wasn't going to do this show unless both of y'all was on here. That's what's up. That's what's I straight up, up and down like That's 6 o'clock. So it was like, <laughs> up. it we, really solidified it when I seen yeah. Ro, I mean, y'all seen Ro had put something on Facebook. I was like, I'm yeah. good. Yeah. Because, he, man, y'all, man, y'all are stronger together, I believe, man. The shit that y'all putting out, man, is it, it's cold, man, and it's needed in the city. Hey, it's a good podcast, and it's good. It's a good. It's a good listening. It, it, uh, this oh, I, got, I got to say this. I got to say this. The war words. I'm going to say this. It, it wasn't more. I'm going to say this first. Uh, we ain't going to point no fingers, bro. No, nah, no. Nah, as a man, I got I to gotta man up. That's just what men do. I ain't never say nothing about shit. I ain't say nah, nothing. Nah, I'm just straight up and down. I told Mo, I said, hey, bro, I ain't feeling it. But the most, hold on, the most high, because I already know you see me running. He ain't feeling it because I will find him out. Hey, don't believe that. Y'all go back and watch. It. I was dragging yeah, that nigga. Yeah, the consensus. And, on, and me and Mo, me and Mo talked, and it was like, bruh, it's deeper than just the show. It's what y'all bringing. And I, I watched the Kanye thing, and then just people just like, man, what y'all doing? Yeah. So I said, man, I gotta, I gotta do what's right. That's the only thing I got to know to do. If you're talking that shit, you got to be about that so shit. So the war of words is yeah, on. For real. Come on. Come so, on, but yeah, man, I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, inviting me on, man. Like I, like I said, I, I watch the show, you know what I'm saying, I watch uh, the episodes I can watch and I do kids. Yeah. And it be some good information, real it, talk, man. man. It's, it, and, and a lot of it's just fun and games, you know what I'm saying? Just shit talking. This is because that's what, how we grew up. I yeah. call it an interview, but yeah. I like that it's more of a discussion. It's a conversation, bro. Yeah. It's a conversation, and it's a needed conversation, whether it's a topic about something crazy or some series or something going on in the city. Yeah. So we want to tap you in with because you know my platform is basically based off of hip hop, but yeah. I'm trying to do politics, sports. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, yeah, cool. So I want to tap you in with the local hip hop scene. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, Speaking of the local hip hop, scene, your top five. How you man. feel about the the uh, 
the hip hop festival that we had. Which one? Uh, back in the summertime. Oh, you talking about the? Uh, yeah, you was involved. Like the four two three day, but the. You talking about the week? The hip hop. The week, CJ. The week, yeah. I love that. That's what I thought. I, mean. I thought it was good for the city. Yeah, a lot of people been crying. I hope to see a lot of people that. been crying about um the river bend and stuff like that. But yeah. me, you know, what I'm saying I, I, I don't know y'all. You went to Howard. Yeah. You went to Brainer. Yeah. I went to Tyler. Like how we was trained at Tyler, we was literally trained to turn, like it looked negative. Yeah. What well, ain't let no uh, hip hop acts get involved in the river band. Yeah. yeah. We, from the way I'm brought up, I understand instantly how do I turn that into a positive? And it's the hip hop CH, CHA, and Create it's the 423 day. Yeah. You feel me? So, okay, now you know if you're a business person, yeah. if you in the business. You know that it's a necessity in Chattanooga for black people to have an event like the River Bend. Yeah. You feel me? So if you're smart and you're a business person, you'll tap into that. And that's the positive after negative. Yeah. They they keeping it real with you. It's just like you say, hey, Mo, man, I ain't feeling this. I don't want to do it no more. You kept it real. Yeah. Me, I can't get mad at that. You kept it real. Get what them white folks doing. Man, we don't, you know, we don't really want y'all. They tell you, but it's like nigga don't even want to accept it. Yeah, you got to. They like, nah, we still want to uh, be with y'all. Like, yeah. nah, yeah. bro, they selling you, bro. They is not fucking with you, bro. <laughs> That's what like they, they, geek, they throw you a little bone if, if that what you want. You know, you ever seen a dog? They just be like, they'll <laughs> sit there while you eating. You'll be like, God damn, him. You're gonna give him a little piece. So he can get on. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? So they'll do that. But in the real big scheme of things, them folks ain't fucking with us, bro. And once niggas realize that and realize, yeah. fuck trying to be with them folks. We know the laws. We done been around y'all so much, we know the game. Yeah. Let's take the game that they have given us and do our own thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I got off the topic a little bit, but I do want to get you on the hip hop. Okay. So who is your who is your uh, top five, you would say, bro? Ooh, in, in, in hip hop? In hip hop. It could be young, new, old, whatever. Just like, throw some folks out there. Like local hip hop on Local yeah, hip hop. Chattanooga. Chattanooga. I would have to say uh, Pooh. Dirty, Dirty Pool. Pool. Dirty yeah. Pool, Mystical Click. Uh, I have to say, uh, Lil Peanut. Lil Dang. Peanut ate that shit, man. Lil yeah. Peanut killed it, boy. Yeah, later. I have to say, definitely Big Vinny. Okay. Shout out to the short. Definitely Big Vinny. I have to say, Maul the Pimp. Maul, okay. man, Maul put a lot of people on. Mm -hmm. uh, over, uh, just, you know what I'm saying, the city as a whole. Legendary. Uh, and then I would definitely have to say, uh, buddy, I can't think of his name right now, but he went to Brandon and moved to Atlanta on the Humbug and was producing for some of everybody. Oh, you, you talking about uh, Lex Dirty? Lex. Yeah, Lex sure. I would have to say them five. Them would be my top five right there. Okay, okay, yeah, that's cool right there, man. You, and then, you got, hold you got on. new folks you messing with? Uh, like Sway Bo, some of them folks? Like, Sway Bo just played instruments though, right? Nah, he, he rapped too. He got the I ain't never heard yeah. him. I ain't yeah. never heard him uh, do his yeah, music. Check Sway Bo out, man. Sway Bo hard, fool. Yeah, yeah. I, I love his music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love, you know what I'm saying, the saxophone piece that he brings to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, new people, not really up on. The only one, the only new person that I'm really up on is uh, Rashad, of course. Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah Rashad. Okay. And, uh, dang, it was one You know, one. Isaiah just had some stuff come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just learned about that. How you how you how you feel about that? I mean, cause me yeah. personally, you that know what I'm saying? Business, bro. I feel you. And I, I, I said, I said, I, I said at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he doing in his private life, if his private life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, I'm not I'm not the judge or the jury. Yeah. Uh that that's him. That's his thing. If that's what he like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But it ain't it ain't none of my business and yeah. feel like somebody needs to report to me what I'm doing yeah. or what yeah. they doing because if I'm doing something, that's my damn business. Yeah, yeah. But uh Do you I, feel like do you feel like it changed though with the nigga holding the camera? You know what I'm saying? It, it, I didn't I don't I personally I hope I don't ever see the I video. ain't seen I'm it either. I just, they told me about it. Cause too. I ain't that type of dude, but you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It, it's gonna change the it's it's gonna change the narrative for him a lot because you know what I'm saying? That's just how people are. You know what I'm saying? That's just mm -hmm. that's just say like if I when I hear in Montreal got caught cheating on his wife. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna change the narrative for me. People gonna start hate women gonna start hating my ass. Yeah, that's they a fact. Like, that Montreal ain't shit. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? So it, it, it works two folds, stuff, fellas. It works two folds on that. So you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, I just don't feel like nobody should have to report, report, report to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, me, my thing was, I cover hip hop and shit, bro. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Of it's okay to talk about it, so too. So, this nigga, it's okay if, to talk if, about if, it. if TMZ can talk about it, if the Breakfast Club yeah. can talk about it, if all these folks can talk it's about okay it, then shit, I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah. And I feel like shit. Nigga, if, if everybody ain't like that, then shit. Yeah. Nigga, we got somebody got to speak up. Nigga, we just ain't finna say nothing. Nigga, yeah. we ain't, everybody ain't like it's that. All, it's okay. So I just wanted bro. to speak on it and speak my mind on it. Yeah. But I'm done with it though. Yeah, that's but cool. I will ask my guest about it though. Yeah, that's speaking cool. of speaking of guests, you know I don't want I don't even want to go too far into that shit. You feel me? I'm, yeah. I'm so cool speaking of guests, we just had a legendary uh, nigga walk in the building. Hey, come here, and all right. Yeah, that's epic, right? Here. Hold on, man. I gotta do something real quick, man. Hey, it, I gotta enter. Look, this is what we doing oh, on geez. the chilling circuit, man. Right. Look, yes, we sir. connecting dots, man. How we putting the streets yeah, with the politics. You feel me? Yeah, we connecting the streets with politics. Let me size you up real quick, man. It's like a nine and a half, bro. Yes, team. Yeah, yeah, like, man. Man. <laughs> yeah. like a nine and a half team. Them shoes tough, bro. Yes, sir. So look, this is what like we ducks. That's it. So look, this what we doing on the chilling circuit, man. Yeah, kids, bro. You can't we about action, man. <laughs> look, we about action, bro. We ain't about niggas be talking, niggas be doing all this. We really trying to connect the dots, bro. Yeah. We got a brother right here who from the streets, but he in the got into politics into the city of Chattanooga. And we got real young street niggas right here, you feel me? And right here on the chilling circuit today, we linking niggas up because I'm going to tell you like this. You don't know what this man going to be 10 years from now, and he don't know what you're going to be 10 years yeah, from now. True, sir, and if better. you're trying to be the boss that I see you trying to be, you're going to have to know niggas like this. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you just talk. You feel me? You ain't that nigga. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, I just want y'all to talk. I just want y'all to I just want y'all to meet each other, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Like, you know. It's more different. Most man, different want to meet people. I'm like I keep looking at brother man. Mm. Shit, yeah, get it, get it. Talk to the young nigga, man. Give him some game, man. Give him some game. DJ's right here, right real exclusive. You yeah. don't have to really work hard man, to get these. <laughs> nah, for real, you gotta work hard to get these. I can't afford no shoes like that, man. I got kids, man. But your dress ain't too bad, though, now. Hold on. I got kids, bro. Yeah, get the y'all niggas some game, though, man. Yeah, I give him some game, please. man. About to, you know, give him some game, man. But say if somebody like him from come from the streets, he trying to clean his image up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all he know is the streets. Yeah. And but he really want to change his life and change his family life and do better. But he doing yeah. it like this, like yeah. give him some game from your perspective on how, cause we don't never see that. Niggas yeah, be yeah, talking yeah. that help the it's community what, shit, but. What's going I, I can't judge, I'm not in the judging business. That ain't, no. that ain't who I am, because I believe you can always change your narrative no matter what you done been through. Hell, Demetrius Coonrod showed us that. Absolutely. She went from damn being in prison, in the streets, to damn councilwoman and could potentially be something else later on in life. Uh, but if you really serious about changing your life, this is you gotta change the circle. Yeah, gotcha. If folks ain't telling you when you when you when you I, 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 damn, that's a, this is a real interview so I can cuss. Go ahead, go ahead. If folks ain't telling you when you fucking up, you don't need them around you. If folks pushing you to do stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? You don't want them around you because yeah. at the end of the game, you gonna be have to you gonna be the one that has to pay the pay the cost for that. You know what I'm saying? And I tell you the truth. Man, ain't nobody gonna come visit you, bro. Nah. I got homeboys and cousins and everybody. I got a, I got a cousin. Uh he just finished serving, what, almost, damn, 30 years of his life. Nobody and stay, Nobody visit him but his daddy, rest in peace, my uncle. Uh, a few of us when we had, when we could, but he was in that by himself. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, it hurt my heart to know that he had to go through that. And he let us know every chance he get, y'all was there for me. Yeah. yeah so I, I feel that, but change, to kind of change that, man, we ain't gonna focus on that. But if you really want to change your life, buy property. Invest your money. Don't do stupid shit with your money. Yeah. Shoes cool, uh, but invest your money. Yeah. Buy property. Buy houses. Rent your houses out. And just invest it. Yeah. Invest it. The invest right it way. smart. Well, get yourself around the right people. Get yourself around the right people and do what do what's right with your money. That's right. what a lot of us, you know what I'm saying? We miss the opportunity. I, I, I'm gonna speak on myself. Like when all that PPP, PPP money came along. I ain't have my shit together. I could have did it the illegal way and got to have everybody else getting it, but I knew I was going to eventually have to pay for that shit. So I wasn't prepared. So I couldn't get that, people. I couldn't get that half a million dollars everybody else getting or that $200,000 everybody else getting. I couldn't get it because I wasn't prepared. Yeah. And then coming around with this ARP money that the city flipping, uh, I wasn't prepared for that either. 
They want you to have a non-profit. Do I have a non-profit? No, I wasn't prepared for it, but guess what I'm doing now? I'm getting my non-profit together, so if anything else come around like that, shit, I'm prepared, I can put that money in too and get that money. You learn so from it. So I learned from it. So it's all about, you know what I'm saying, preparing yourself and learning what to do with your money and how to do with your money yes, and sir. put yourself around the people to make your money work for you. Because I, I, like me, I want to be retired by the time I turn 55. Not even 55, 50. I want to be doing what I want to live every day like the weekend. Yeah, how old you is? I'm 40. Okay. okay. So I got 10 years. years. I got 10 years to get my shit together. But what I'm saying is when you get in, get ready to do all that and do all yeah. that, you're going to need a link. You're yeah. going to need an inside link. Hey, man, how I get this done? Man, man. young men like this control the streets, yeah. man. And we, don't, and we don't realize and we don't listen to them. You know what I'm saying? So... So we can know what we need to be doing. Right. Why, you know what I'm saying? Why so many killers? You know what I'm saying? Why people getting knocked off left and right? You know what I'm saying? Who violating who? How can we help, you know what I'm saying, stop some of this stuff going on? Right. We can't do this without people like young men like you. Because I don't know everything. I'm not even connected with the streets no right. more. I never been like a street dude. I always knew how to navigate my way because I was taught to navigate. But I never I never got caught doing anything. I never got caught doing anything illegally, but I know how to navigate my way around the streets. Yeah, yeah. Boom, because that's the way we was raised. Yeah, Absolutely. boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. wasn't raised. But that's, anybody that's, that's man, anybody that's knocking you for the life you live in, or what you doing, man, that shit ain't right, bro. Anybody that's judging you because you got tattoos or the way you dress, that shit ain't right, bro. That ain't how that ain't how life works. Right, that ain't how life should works because y'all have a voice too. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta be heard. Y'all know what y'all know what's making everything tick. Because ain't nobody hearing us. I agree, bro. Nobody is hearing. Like when they see us, they see fear. Like it's like oh, hell yeah. automatically fear, fear, fear. Nobody hearing the streets. Like yeah, it's. I mean, bro, it's eighty percent of the young black men out here that commit crimes is fatherless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Um, thirty percent of them folks was motherless, and you still saying. We ain't got no programs and shit like that to help a nigga when they hit 16, 17 and they been fatherless for mm. five years or 10 and they years. They forget about you when you that age. Yeah, so. Now we worry about nigga 10 years old. Nigga head yeah. be thrown off. You see what I'm saying? Nigga head be gone. So yeah. once a nigga fatherless and motherless and shit and the nigga in the streets is over with. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my father see right mean. now and my mama gone. So it's like mm -hmm. when I'm out here, it's. Yeah. It's whatever. It's yeah. a free for all. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause who are we talking to? This is my first time ever meeting you. Yeah. Who are we talking to? We don't too many black people like you in the city. Like yeah. you black, you still got your black. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You still got your black. You still rock your baseball cap and your running shoes. It's not too many black people in big positions that niggas I like agree, me can bro. talk to. You see what I'm saying? I agree. Honestly, as a street dude, as a street dude in the city, or like y'all say, bro. It's nobody we can talk to. Yeah. We can't talk to no motherfucking Fred. But Fletcher. it should be like that, bro. We supposed to be able to highlight that Fred Fletcher on the Hey, man, what's up, bro? What, what's. Yeah. My your police harassing the shit out of us. Da, 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 this was going on. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be some type of connection between whether it's a councilman, yeah. council lady. Somebody supposed to be representing it. Yeah. Hood. You still it's deserve still to be represented, district. bro. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Still the district in the region it's supposed to be somebody who yeah. can really feel where people from this yeah. side of town come yeah. from. So you got a white man over a district that's hood. How yeah. does he feel? He ain't he been out here a damn day. He, he ain't never came out here. He don't, don't know where the candlelight house is. He don't know where the candlelight house is. He ain't even walk over down that street. Man ain't even never seen the bricks of the project. I guarantee you, bro. But he running the district, though. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee you. Anything ran down, liquor store, clothes stores. Bro, it's so many stuff. Like in the hood in East Lake, it's four stores in the front of the project. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't no black people own. Mm -hmm. Only people keep getting these stores is Arabians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. You see what I'm saying? Or Asians. Or Asians. Because of the paperwork and because of the, the rules and the laws and shit. Oh, let me, like, it let ain't me say that. this. It's because they put their money together. Yeah. Let me say they this. They do what we don't do. We don't put our money together. Shout out MP. MP. I think MP just MP. bought. MP. He, just, he just bought the store in East Lake. Shouts out MP. What's your East Lake? MP. The, the corner though. store. Yeah. He made he doing major moves showing hey it can be done. Yeah. You know why the salvation on me? Right across. How, yeah. Let's just be honest. How hard is it for a young man like me, I get you. a real street nigga, to get in touch with MP? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be hard. It is though. It is. I, I get what you know. I've been trying to I've been trying to interview like, Brad. I'm a, I'm a, I'm one of the hottest artists in the city. I'm finna get ready to sign the 1017 deal. MP is one of the hottest artists in the city. He got a song with Lucha. Real businessman. Why haven't we talked? 
Yeah, I What's you. the problem? You see what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and that's the problem with Chattanooga as a whole, cause like it's too Future clear. not scared to talk to Young Thug, and Young Thug not scared to talk to Gucci Man. You but see what I'm saying? In the way it seems no, like that's I something I ain't never understood. You see what I'm saying? I ain't never been scared to talk to anybody. It's not necessarily about being scared to talk to anybody. It's about right, standing right, yeah, your ground like everybody's so yeah, 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 tense yeah. and firm with the next man, rather it being yeah. black love. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's yeah, what we're yeah. missing in Chattanooga. Yeah. Missing yeah. Black I agree, love. bro. I agree, man. I agree 100 percent As a whole, as a unit. It's we missing the whole black thing. Like, how you might be my brother, but then my brothers, I love, love, love them. Yeah, you see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I don't know you. I might not love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I don't know you, I don't love you. We ain't even talk. Yeah. Only reason we having the conversation right now is because Lamos like, hey, yo, da 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 da. This is my brother. Don't do 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 it. Take that, but it shouldn't take that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't yeah. take that for black man to click talk because he's supposed to be a cup of black love on the air table. I agree, black bro. man seeing. You see what I'm saying? I agree, like, bro. If we doing business, and I see you doing good. I see you. What's the name? I'm gonna support your business even if it's 150, 75, boom, all right? Turn around, you gonna support my business. That's it. Yeah. Now we locked in. Bro, I ain't mad, bro. Yeah. Yeah. See, the thing is, what I've been trying to do, fam, we gotta, we be talking, but we gotta <laughs> speak with our actions. Right. And that's, that's, that's what I'm doing today. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. I gotta, yeah. Let me get it out. No, you good, man. We doing this with actions. I wanted to really let these folks see a real street nigga Absolutely. with a nigga from the streets who ends politics. Yeah, I ain't nobody gonna say like it's nobody for us to say what I'm saying. Cause too. I know what you're doing. So through. I'm saying you you a real politic black man. So I can say we can say this on camera. You see what I'm saying? Cause in our entity, it's not going to be another opportunity like this for a street nigga to say this to a black politic that still got their yeah. blackness they on. Black. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not going to be another situation to where. I can say this and not go. I can't say it's the Fred Flesh. I can't say, bro, oh, yeah, da 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 da. Yeah. This the streets, bro, da da da. Nigga ain't going to jail. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, ain't going shit. to jail. Yeah. They ain't trying to hear nothing you talking about with the streets. Hey, they stopped free lunch trucks from coming through the hood. Right. Bro, I used, to, I used to be a kid in the hood, bro, I used to be free lunch free every lunch, day. Yeah, you do. And then too, shit, I grew up on free lunch. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see that shit no more. Hey, you ain't gonna see it no you more. You don't see that shit no more. Why you stop that? Niggas hungry. Kids hungry. Now you got yeah. kids breaking the houses. At 11, 12, because they ain't eat lunch. Yeah, it's the eat. summertime. You know what I'm saying? Damn now you're turning niggas to robbers. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You forcing niggas without fathers to turn the game. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now when the nigga game bang, you making killers and shooters. You see what I'm saying? Now the yeah. grind right up. Yeah. When all you had yeah. to do is put together a program, shelter these little young black kids that you claiming, doing all the crime, got the crime, shelter them. Like, yeah. It ain't nothing but Let me a ask you this. So why, why you, uh, so why, it, it seemed like, you know what I'm saying? It's out of control with all the killings and everything. Why? Um, cause it's the streets and nobody's yeah. monitoring. Like it's they doing exactly what I'm glad you said. They, they doing glad exactly you said what it. they want to do. If it's a police sitting, if it's a police I'm sitting on every four blocks in the hood, but he just sitting in the car, she these three yeah. blocks before you get to that fourth block, three niggas can get knocked. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's you easy. making it easy. At that point, so it's you easy. Think, you think we lost like a lot of leadership? Yeah, cause everybody going to jail. Like when we did, like like when they did that uh, that that uh, that roundup, and they locked all the all the a bunch, a bunch of the first one they did. Uh, the first one they did, Frank White, the thirty two. Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck they, they talked to Frank White when they locked up? When they locked up all all of the gang leaders, gang leader slash uh, kingpins or whatever you want to whatever you want to label us as. Yeah, that's what they labeling them. Yeah. yeah, a so, kingpin is a cartel member. Mm -hmm. A kingpin yeah. is somebody with three hundred bricks. Yeah. 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 I don't know a kingpin in China. It's not a Not king no pen. nigga with no one yeah. brick, two yeah. bricks. Yeah. They, 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 got a, they can give them a kingpin charge, yeah. but we know that ain't no real kingpin. Right, that right. Nigga Cause that fucked the streets up too, because like, I, you, everybody grow up looking at somebody. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So if you let this person look up to somebody 10 years and then they're 11 and 12 and you snatch that person away from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's oh, gonna get chaotic. No, nah, it's not. It's gonna get chaotic, but it's gonna turn that person more yeah. into that person. You see what I'm saying? I feel what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all right, it's like when they when they locked up Tookie Williams, gang banging went through the roof. Yeah, you yeah. See, when they locked him up in the eighties and shit, yeah, that's why I get that, right there, yeah. that shit went through the roof. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But when he was out, it was all cool and it was calm and more structure. Yeah. It's structure. Yeah. It's certain shit. It's the streets. It's it's the ghetto. It's the private. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's no money there. It's no money there. It's the private. It's the reason. It's poor. It's bricks. It's all concrete. Boom, boom, boom. So from a baby. You're breeding yeah. concrete babies. Mm -hmm. So the way we come up, and when I get, I'm 27 now. I'm a concrete 27 year old. I'm yeah. psh, the silence is gonna yeah. get, cause that's, that's the way that they raised yeah. us. 
from the ground in. I've been watching this same process because I'm really in tune with the streets and everybody babies is going up yeah. concrete babies. You don't see babies like, real smart and yeah. shit no more. Babies be dumb as hell. Yeah. Niggas get lucky, man. And yeah, I got lucky. Shit. Yeah. Seven out of ten babies make it. Yeah. Man, babies getting killed, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Babies getting killed. Wanna yeah. know why? Because it's folk, it's um it five, six blocks is a police yeah. officer. And it's five you, blocks in front of East Lake, one, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody in the projects. Yeah. What made you turn what, what made you turn to the street? Shit, um Lack of everything. Yeah. Lack of love. Lack of following, lack of you saw money, yeah. certain shit, it's certain shit, it's just certain shit in the streets that it's certain shit in the street resource wise that you can't get. Like yeah. Like street niggas look at jobs cause look at jobs weird cause it's like I I'm going in here and I'm slaving, slaving, slaving. Make that little money. Breaking my back for yeah. nothing. But in the streets it's resources. Like people been standing in the hood 40, 50 years. Like some of my grands and shit been standing prior to 40, 50 years. Yeah. They ain't never been laid on bills, never been. It's just cause of the resources that the hood yeah. present. You see yeah. what I'm saying? But it's kinda like the, yeah. it's, the streets is just, it's all in it's all Cause it's like you can yeah. As far as much as you want to stay away from that shit yeah. Bro, this shit be on your back bro. Cause it's you. just you I, I feel you, that's what I feel Niggas be bro. looking for out, man Believe it or not, bro, that's what I feel every day I feel like Austin Park is on my back Every day yeah, bro. It's, like it's every to day. the point to where a nigga just be like We brothers, but even though we all brothers Bro, it's all us, it's a sense of individuality yeah. When you in the streets, like it don't matter if you with ten brothers, all y'all got the same yeah. mama. It's a sense of individuality that the streets just give off that a lot of black people and young black men can't handle. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like a lot of black men tend to go into groups. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So why not form positive groups? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you know I right, this whole side of town gonna form a group, I right, jump in front of it, start something mm -hmm. positive. Yeah. They gonna follow. Yeah. Cause it's 2022 and everybody want to be positive. Yeah. So yeah, how? I mean, so how you push through? Like how do you how you get through? Shit, I got through cause. Cause you 20, cause you 20 is you say 27. I now. haven't been to prison. I damn near ain't make it through. Yeah. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They they literally took that time away from me, trying to take more time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They constantly trying to take time, but the push is to go. Like. Yeah. All right. If they lock you up, get out and go. Don't. Get locked up and then just sit down and fall. Yeah, Being cuz yeah. we already know this is the it's the cycle in Chattanooga. You see yeah, what I'm saying? It's the cycle. Yeah. It's like, all right, once you get to a, once you get to a, a point, a break, Big Vin. Once you get to a point of break, boom, they can smack you. Yeah. Boom. If you don't get smacked by twelve, once you get to the point of break, hate gonna need. kick in and nigga gonna kill you. Yeah. And that's yeah. brick. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's brick from Pine Woods. You yeah. see what I'm saying? It's just, it's just a cycle, bro. Something you can't get away from. It's the, it's the politics. It's a lot of the politics and a lot of black men that was, could have been real people. Like how you came, you say you're a hood dude, but you still came to be a politician. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I ain't no politician yet. But shit, you working on it. Yeah, yeah. So we gonna speak into existence. I hate, yeah, I, 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 hate, I hate that word, politician. We gonna say future black president. Politics. I, I hate, I, I always future like to say, man, I'm a, I'm a servant before anything, man. Cause I, I live to serve young men like you. So I can, you know what I'm saying? Try to carve out a better way, a better path and teach, teach everybody what I know. Like I don't bump my head enough to be able to teach Young people, okay, these are the mistakes I made. This is how you can capitalize off this mistake. This is how you prepare yourself to buy that building that, that's available and rent that bitch out. See, they don't teach us that stuff like, okay. See, that's the stuff I want to do. We go to school for 12 years, right? Mm -hmm. We go to school for 12 years. We don't learn how to buy property. Math. And you go to school for 12 years, you don't learn how to buy property. You don't learn how to. In school, they don't tell you that you can buy a car and. Flip the title a hundred times and this thing, you know, you got 10 different cars. You see what I'm saying? They don't tell, it's just certain stuff that you need in life that you don't, that they don't teach you in school that you can't learn in the hood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bro, you can't learn how to buy a building in the hood. Yeah. In the hood, you can't learn how to buy the hood. 
Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Unless you sitting in yeah. reading, and if you sitting in reading, you can yeah. sit alone. Yeah. Because it's the cycle of the hood. You see what I'm saying? And that's what we tell our kids every day at the school, man. It's o it's okay to be the smart dude. Man, it's okay to read, bro. I swear to God, I just went and bought my brother, my baby brother. He's 17 years senior this year. Mm -hmm. I just went and bought him. Father A Laws of Power. Mm -hmm. Music business in the that's Gucci Mane book. That's a good one. Four A Laws of Power. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't mm -hmm. buying books for kids. That's what they it is. They ain't buying that's books. That's what it is, bro. Niggas ain't buying books. Man, Terry, I'm gonna study that Four A Laws of Power. Yeah, that's a real one. That's how they operate. That's how it's operating. That's a real one. And just like that's you the said, book I showed you that time. Bro, that's the way the world <laughs> and I operate, pulled it bro. out because I got it. Yeah. yeah. That's the way the world operates. Yeah. If you're not hip to that, you will be lost in the yeah, world. Yeah, you gotta get on game. That's a fact. That's you will be lost in the world. If I read that book, your phase and book changed my life. That's the life. main reason I gave the hey. book to my little brother. What yeah. they say, never outshine the master, baby. Oh god, you, you, you can never outshine the master. That shit can go for the nigga at Burke. You can go be getting your food at Burke. Absolutely. That's street law. The nigga making your food shots. Yeah. Why are you shining harder than the manager? So mm -hmm. you telling me your car look better than the person who do your albums? That's what I'm saying. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's street law. Shit sound like case to me. Yeah. Shit sound like case to me. You finna get fired, <laughs> nigga. Some kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. You get fired. That's, That's when the hate comes. Figured out. That's when the hate Oh, you were two minutes late. That when all that shit start happening. You feel That's what I'm saying. But yeah, man. So look, we don't want to take out too much because we finna man. we finna enter in uh, interview uh, NRA on its own. But I just really want the. Let man. these two brothers meet, man, because hey, I feel man. like this is going to be a young, powerful individual in the city. Yeah, man. He, he, and he, he, he in the future is going to be a powerful individual. The and he, the they, need to, they need to link in. They need to know yeah, each other. Have. And that, I, I, past this is on y'all. You yeah. feel me? I did my part. Shout you feel me? Y'all do y'all thing, man. You hear me? Real talk. So that's what we got to do. So y'all going to do your thing. We'll finish up with Bert, and we finna be with you in like five minutes, man. How do you feel about... Public, you know, public and private schools. Yeah. Public schools are meant to be dependent on the state. private schools because private schools are teaching. Private schools, people are being taught to be independent. Right. Public schools are taught to be dependent on right. those uh, people that graduate from private schools. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Uh, so, public schools are dependent on the state and got to follow state guidelines, state standards, and stuff like that. But private schools can move more independently, and yeah. that's why they're way more successful. I ain't gonna say more, more successful. But that's why they're, yeah. they're way more prepared than public, public uh, the average public school student to uh, for life. And you know what I'm saying? We can level the playing field by investing back into our public schools and going back into our schools. And, and the schools need to let young men like y'all come into our schools and talk to our kids about what made you go the wrong direction and don't go this direction because this is what happened to me. Not saying that you done been through something or something that happened to you, but our schools need to start letting people that has been through something. Now, if you if you molested a child, our schools don't need to let you in our school. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's just me being me and me. That's what I believe you in. Keep it real. Uh, if you look at statistics, I'm a statistic yeah. person. Yeah. I'm young, I'm 28, I'm a statistic person. Yeah. And I believe in you know United States is a capitalistic country. It's something I'm trying to tell my brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you look at the statistics, uh, I'm gonna say at least probably about. I'm gonna say six out of ten times will a, a public school person, I mean a, a public school child, mm -hmm. will be less successful than a um, private, private school child, and it's because of the programs they have in private schools. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, how can we get that back in our public schools to be able to teach our public schools? Kids? We had it. We had it. We had it before you and I. I'm my brothers say, I, had it. I, my class. I, I had a little bit of it in my class. You know, they taught us draft, uh, drafting and design, and you yeah. know, carpentry. No, they don't have it at all. Anymore. Right, and it, it's gonna take. Power, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. it's gonna take. You know what I'm saying? People like us to tell them what we want. And when I get up there and say, "How would needs this tech program back?" I gotta have 50 other people behind me that say, "Yeah, it do." 250. Cause it's supposed to be Howard School of Academics and Technology. They don't have nothing. Well, it, it's changed back to the Howard School oh, now. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have the Academics and Technology. Yeah, That's the yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but man, you know what I'm saying? If the public schools had the same programs that the private schools have, then our yeah. public school kids would be more successful. Yeah, we ain't got to worry about the streets. You know what I'm saying? I agree. If, if we got our kids doing, you know, business. And, and probably Macaulay, I bet you they kids doing business. Oh, they out of here. Yeah, they, they, they know banking and everything. And we get that same thing in our public schools. Yeah. Our public schools will be more successful. I agree, bro. Yeah. We got to learn finances. Finances is the key. We have to learn finances and how to make our money work and stop, stop blowing our money on stupid stuff. 
our mindset is going to have to start, have to change to invest first, enjoy later. Absolutely. I'm That's why it's important. You no, know. nah, you good, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that question. Voice. I'm gonna put great that on. Thank you. Yeah. And, and, oh man, I'm gonna put that on. We, we, yeah. we have to learn. If we have to invest first and enjoy, enjoy later. Enjoy later. Because that's just how life works. Like I said, I'm trying to be retired by the time I turn 50. Yeah. So I got 10 years to do what I need to do so I can enjoy life. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's real, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, you just heard it here first, the chitlin' circuit, man. Yeah. Montreal Baisley. You hey, me? get my name right, bro. God damn, I've been Come talking. Come on, man. Montreal Baisley, bro. Baisley. Man, you done had a little bit of something. I got the break. <laughs> man, boy, he had a Montreal. little bit. He Montreal. got it. <laughs> I said it up. Look, so look, shouts out Montreal Basley, man. You know what I'm saying? He just came down, put it down. Look, we, we you know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. we're trying to do, bro. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm telling you before it happens so man. you can see what I'm talking about. This what I this what I see. You got a dope show, man. Like this I what said, I see. Man. So I felt like I just wanted to link link shit up, man. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to salute want, you, bro. I want to stay in contact with. with yeah, with, with most definitely. Man. I just want to salute you. Shouts out RMJR. You feel me? Uh, this your boy Lil Mo Films. RM. I'm glad they got back together. <laughs> it's up, man. It's up. It's up. We back. It's up. It's up, man. So look, y'all stay tuned, man. Chilling circuit. We out, man. Bam. Hey, shout out to Lil Mo. I appreciate him for letting me come on this show. Uh, shout out to Roland. Shout out to Lil Mo in the Chitlin' Circuit. Great show, man. Tune in. I swear, it's good conversation. Conversation for the soul. You'll love it. Lil Mo Films. You watching the Chitlin' Circuit. Y'all know what it is. Lil Mo Films.